Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. History tonight on Capitol Hill. The House voting to impeach President Trump, becoming only the third president in U.S. history to be impeached. Article 1 is adopted. As the president takes the stage in Battle Creek during the historic vote. Crazy Nancy Pelosi's House Democrats have branded themselves with an eternal mark of shame. And it really is. It's a disgrace. Good to have you with us tonight for Local 4 News at 11 after a long day of debate. Tonight, President Trump was impeached on both articles he was facing. The voting sets the stage for a Senate trial now in 2020. While the House was approving both articles, the president was delivering a speech in Battle Creek that went for two hours. Mar McDonald is live outside Kellogg Arena in Battle Creek tonight. Mara, many thought the president would wait to speak until after the vote, but that wasn't the case. No, he came on and spoke for two hours, Kimberly, to a capacity crowd here at Kellogg Arena, about 5,500 people inside, probably 2,000 outside trying to watch it on the jumbotron in the cold, and he didn't disappoint his followers and fans. He spoke for two hours, no holds barred. It doesn't really feel like we're being impeached. Do you <laughs> Thousands waited in line in the cold to hear what the president had to say about impeachment. He was on stage when the House took that vote. Oh, I think we have a vote coming in. So we got every single Republican voted for us. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Wow. Almost 200. While much of Trump's speech focused on impeachment and no love lost for the Democrats. But they think the Washington swamp should be able to veto the results of an election. That's what they think. He hit on his victories, repealing NAFTA and benefits for autos, jobs and the economy. So as of yesterday, we've had 133 record days in the stock market now. He took shots at everyone from former FBI Director Jim Comey to Governor Whitmer. Because I understand she's not fixing those potholes. And Congresswoman Debbie Dingell. Debbie Dingell, that's a real beauty. So she calls me up like eight months ago. Her husband was there a long time. But I didn't give him the B treatment. I didn't give him the C or the D. I could have. Nobody would have, you know. I gave the A-plus treatment. Back here alive, the president singling out Congresswoman Dingell tonight, who was seen prominently holding Speaker Pelosi's hand as they walked in to vote for the impeachment of the president, talking about how she asked him for his help with her husband's funeral. Congresswoman Dingell, after hearing what the president had to say, had this to say tonight on Twitter. Mr. President, let's set politics aside. My husband earned all his accolades after a lifetime of service. I'm preparing for the first holiday season without the man I love. You brought me down in a way you can never imagine, and your hurtful words just made my healing much harder. We're live in Battle Creek tonight at Kellogg Arena. I'm Mara McDonald. Back to you. Yeah, the crowd didn't really seem to know what to make, even of that remark that yeah. suggested John Dingell was not looking down from heaven, but maybe looking up from hell was uh, the joke he was trying to make earlier in the evening. All right, Mara. Well, the vote to impeach the president came right around 8.30 after some 10 hours of debate on the House floor. Alice Barr on Capitol Hill. What comes next? Alice. Tonight, Donald J. Trump becoming the third American president to be impeached. Article 1 is adopted. The final vote split along party lines, nearly every Democrat voting for two articles of impeachment, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. A great day for the Constitution of the United States. A sad one for America. It gives us no pleasure, no pleasure to stand here today. But President Trump's conduct has put our next election at risk. Republicans going down fighting, even as they knew Democrats had enough votes to impeach. What we've seen is a rigged process that has led to the most partisan and least credible impeachment in the history of America. Democrats insisting the vote was their constitutional duty and that they're safeguarding democracy for the future. When you see something that is not right, not just, not fair, you have a moral obligation to set something, to do something. The final House vote now recorded in the history books, but the final say on conviction lands with the Republican-controlled Senate, eager to begin the next chapter.
Alice Barr, Local 4. We are getting a lot of reaction on the impeachment vote from our Local 4 lawmakers, and we have posted their statements that have come in this evening on ClickOnDetroit.com. All right, some breaking news to get to now just in from Dearborn, where police are responding to a train crash. Let's get to Tim Pamplin. He's on the scene with the night cam. Tim. Dearborn police have got the ramps from 94 both directions to uh, the Schaefer Greenfield exits shut down uh, in both directions. MSP tell us that they're about to shut the entire freeway down. 94 shut down both directions here near Rotunda. Uh... Now we're just getting some fresh video in. There you go. Fire trucks responding to the situation. Two trains collided on a bridge over the ramp. There you go. There you see the orange locomotive. There's another one just on the other side. They collided and now fuel is spilling down onto the freeway ramps. Dearborn has requested that Michigan State Police, as quick as they can, shut down I-94. Mutual aid effort. I'm seeing Northville and the city of Plymouth firefighters responding to the scene as well. So back out here along 94, we're just waiting for Michigan State Police to respond down here and get 94 shut down. That is the scene in Dearborn tonight with the night camp. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. All right, Tim. Well, a chilly night across Metro Detroit, and uh, Ben, some areas will be seeing single digits overnight if they're not already. I was going to say, we're, <laughs> I'm looking down. I see now. <laughs> we're there already, and it is. This is the coldest we'll have to get through. It all gets better from here, but uh, yeah, this is going to be a bitter cold night for a lot of us. Three in Ann Arbor, and we always say this: anytime the clouds clear out and the winds calm down, uh, that number in Ann Arbor seems to be the odd man out, but there are definitely some other single digits here. Howells at eight, nine in Flint and barely holding on to double digits here in the Metro Zone 12 at uh, Metro Airport and 14 in the city. Wind chills right now are in negative territory in a good chunk of the area. You can see one below there in Flint, Sandusky, even Ann Arbor below uh, zero there at eight below. We will be seeing the winds continue to calm down, so the wind chills and the temperatures are going to get closer together. Uh, but we're looking for 10 officially for a morning low, and then we'll start seeing those numbers rise. We'll look at how it's going to change for the weekend coming up. Devin? Fire crews in Southfield were out battling a blaze over the, at the abandoned Northland Mall near Greenfield and the Lodge Freeway. According to officials, the fire started in what used to be the J.C. Penney store. Smoke could be seen for miles as crews tried to put it out, but fortunately no injuries were reported at the scene. Drive-by shooting leaves a Livonia house riddled with bullet holes. Shooting happened December 8th around 2 p.m. on Deering Street uh, near 7 Mile in Inkster. Police say at least seven shots were fired into the home from a blue Ford Taurus. No one was home at the time. This doesn't happen here, and we follow up and give 100% on any investigation, but we're going all in. We're going to find out who these people are. All right, take a good look here. This is another look at that blue Ford Taurus. Witnesses told police there were three or four people inside that car and that the driver had bushy hair and was wearing a white mask. Now a local four update in a case that was the first of its kind in Michigan. A judge has thrown out a lawsuit of a man who was suing his ex-girlfriend for not using birth control. The Royal Oak man filed the lawsuit earlier this year. You may recall he claimed his then girlfriend should have legally disclosed that she was not on birth control. Today a judge dismissed that case. One of Detroit's largest demolition companies is facing more violations after demolishing the wrong house. The Detroit Building Authority says Adamo Group wrongly demolished a home on the city's east side back in November. Back in 2018, the company was suspended for demolishing the wrong home on Holcomb Street near Gratiot. Officials are calling for a 90-day suspension from bidding on contracts for the company. One of the largest malls in the state is now under new ownership after a multi-million dollar purchase from a Miami-based developer. Lakeside Mall in Sterling Heights was purchased by Out of Box Ventures for $26.5 million. The new owners hope to transform traditional retail spaces into a dynamic mixed-use destination. All right, still ahead, they are the toys parents shouldn't buy this holiday season. What you need to know before you finish up your last minute shopping just ahead. And she's a former beauty queen and middle school teacher. How long she could spend in prison after making a disturbing confession. Jason. The ending of last night's Allen Park Cabrini and River Rouge basketball game was never in doubt. But coming up, we'll tell you why what happened near the end of the game has both teams very proud today. The top app trends that are likely to have a big impact on you and your family coming up in the new year. Help me Hank talking with the experts tomorrow starting at 6 a.m. Defenders get results.
a certain type of guardrail that could be a potentially deadly hazard. A guardrail pierced her car and she was killed instantly. Defender Karen Drew first exposed the problem. Defenders have learned these guardrails are used in the state, most of them right here in Metro Detroit. And other states have had issues. And the state decided to take action. Crews out making repairs to local guardrails. The local four defenders know how to get results. Because your moments matter. Need something investigated? Contact the defenders.